Hello and welcome to Point of View. China successfully blasted off yet another orbital flight from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China's Sichuan province on Friday, November the 26th, Eastern Time. A majestic Long March 3B carrier rocket ripped through the sky launching the ChinaSat 1D satellite to its planned geostationary Earth orbit successfully. The launch was conducted by China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC. ChinaSat 1D satellite was developed by the 5th Academy of Aerospace Science and Technology Group which can provide users with high quality voice data, radio and television transmission services. Sending orbital rockets like clockwork, this was China's 47th orbital launch of the year, which lit up the night sky with its trademark orange and blue plumes. This also marks the 399th launch of the Long March series of launch vehicles. Today's launch featured the Long March 3B booster, which is an expandable three-stage medium lift rocket with an optional four stage. The rocket has four liquid-fueled side boosters and is an improved version of its previous iteration. The Long March 3B was first launched in 2007 and thanks to its upgrades over the years, it now has better payload capabilities to GTO. Typically, the Long March 3B utilizes four side boosters that each use one YF25 engine. The side boosters each measures 16.1 meters in length and produces 740 kilonewton of thrust at liftoff. The first stage has four YF-21C engines, which produces 2,960 kilonewton of thrust at sea level. The first stage measures 3.35 meter in diameter and 24.76 meter in height. The second stage is powered by a single YF-22E engine. Just like the side boosters, the second stage engine produces 740 kilonewton of thrust. The second stage of Long March 3B is 3.35 meter in diameter and is about 13 meter tall. The Long March 3B's third stage is 12.4 meter long and is powered by two YF75 engines. Unlike the other stages, this stage is high energy and high efficiency stage powered by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. It's important to remember that since this engine only performs in the vacuum of space, efficiency is of greater importance than thrust. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.